Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about second order derivative. So till far, we were doing working on first order derivative, which is to finding out what is dy by dx. Okay. So let's say a function is given to us. Y is a function of x. And we are finding out dy by dx, which is f dash x. Okay. So this is only first order derivative. Now we need to find out the second order derivative means the d by dx of again dy by dx it is so this is written as d square y by dx square of f double dash or is it, it is equals to f double dash x okay so this is the second order derivative means differentiating the result of dy by dx one more time now let's discuss a question based on it so that it will become more uh, easier to you like we need to find out dx d square y by dx square if y is given to us as x cube plus 10x so to find out the derivative first time is very easy which is secant square x in this case okay so to again differentiate this function this is 6x plus 2 sec x into the derivative of sec x is sec x 10x okay so this is 6x plus 2 secant square x 10x okay so this is the double derivative of or you can say the second order derivative of this function okay now let's discuss one more question on it so student here I am writing down the question number 2 which is if y is equals to sin inverse x show that 1 minus x square d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx equals 0 so we are only given y equals sine inverse x I will find out the value of d square y by dx square and dy by dx then we will put the value of these both both these and we will check the r result so to find out dy by dx which is very simpler because we know the formula of differentiation of sine inverse x so now what we are getting is dy by dx is equal 1 ok so now to differentiate this again Uh, I, if I will differentiate on RHS it will become 0 so I will apply the u into v formula here so 1 minus x square this is d square y by dx square first as it is differentiation of second plus differentiation of first is keeping second as it is into 2 2x so from here what I am getting is d square y by dx square is coming out to be in terms of you can put the value of this so if I multiply uh, my equation with uh, I'll get a negative sign here also okay so the result is somewhat similar to what we need to find out or what we are trying to find out if I multiply the equation by root 1 minus x square this is 1 minus x square d square y by dx square minus dy by dx into x is equals to 0 so this is what we are need to prove ok so hence proof
So students, now I hope that you can easily find out the double order derivative or you can say the second order derivative. Okay. And in the next lecture, we will discuss some more questions on it. So stay tuned for the lecture based questions based on second order derivative. Thank you. Happy learning.